Okay, today sister-in-law called and she needs us to come over and do her some favors. Do some work around her yard, tear out some bushes, some old overgrown flower beds. So today we're helping a family member out. Laura's sister, Chris, has been a single mom to our niece, Amanda, pretty much since she's been born. She's done a good job raising, uh, raising her daughter and taking care of her own house. But every once in a while, she needs an extra hand, she needs some tools, and a little bit of uh, experience doing a project at home, and uh, we're always happy to oblige. I feel very fortunate to have the tools and some experience with some things to be able to help out friends and family when we can. But Chris called and said she needs some landscaping in the backyard ripped out and things have gotten out of control, overgrown. So it was a beautiful day. It was actually Labor Day. It was a nice 78 degrees. So we loaded up the tractor, put the tiller on, grabbed the chainsaw, a couple other things, and uh, headed on over there to see what we could do to help it. All right, we're going to take out <clears throat> this tree, all these little trees. I think this one. All this mess over here. Including these little stones. I don't know if you can see these little stones down in here. All this is going to come out. I want to get this down to, to grass or just something because if we do another tier, I want it to come down there. I can totally see why Chris was feeling overwhelmed by this project. You know, this landscaping, you got to keep up on it. If you don't, it just gets out of control and then you got a big problem on your hands. I haven't been around too many single moms that maintain a full time job and run a side hustle and are able to keep up with all their landscaping needs.
Man, I sure hate trying to dig roots out with this tractor. But it sure does beat a shovel, a pickaxe, and a wheelbarrow. Just can't beat a good old bucket brigade. I love to see everybody come together and work on a project. Turn up awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of work done in a short amount of time. Yeah, so this is Chris, Laura's sister. And every once in a while, we talk into coming and doing a little <laughs> work over here now and then. But it's cool. Yeah, having equipment helps a lot better. Oh, yeah. yeah. There was no way. <laughs> I, I've been trying to do parts of them, and it, by the time I'd finish one part, it'd be all overgrown at the beginning again. Right. I'm like, this was not working. Yep, we still got a little work to do. We gotta do some raking. Yeah, not bad though. Some raking and some seeding. It looks a lot better opened up the back porch a lot. It went fast, faster than I thought it would. Yeah, looks really good. Probably a couple hours. What we got here about 12? Two hours. We got here. No, 11:30. Yeah, 11:30, and it's 1:30. Two hours. 1:30. Yeah. It took two hours. That tree just came out. Yeah, I can't believe how good it did come out, actually. Yeah. We were able to get the roots out, so we don't have to... That was good, and then it won't grow back for real. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to load up. The rest of the family's getting some Taco Bell. Yeah, I know. Day two of trying to eat good. Day two of our diet, and we're going to eat Taco Bell already, so I'm going to leave. But you know, it's only 400 calories for two tacos, so yeah. that's my... It's probably good quality calories. Too. Yep, yep, it is. It's the good. I'll... It's probably the good kind of carbs and saturated fats. I'll log it in the app. And... Yeah. You got an app? Yeah. Anyway, I gotta save some room in the tank because I might want to drink some beer later. I knew it. Uh-huh.